Don't care about boys and girls. Fake training lack weapons. False military code. I don't know if it's in Russia or Ukraine. I don't know. It says Russia on the screen, but uh, mobilizing. Uh, apparently, Russian soldiers are going on the streets trying to get people to join the army. If they don't, they put them in uh, prison for 10 years. It's not about Ukraine training. You have to be 60 to fight in there. And if you don't fight, then probably the same thing happens. They go to prison. I don't know. Let's put the video on. Guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are We are mobilized. We don't have to be here at all. It's been 11 days since our arrival here. We left Moscow 11 days ago. These scenes show recently mobilized Russians in the city of Svatova, Luhansk region. It is only 15 kilometers from here to the de-occupied by Ukrainian defenders' territories. During the training, before being sent to the front line, the drafted Russians fight from the firearms only once. Oh, How many times did you shoot? Only once. I spent three clips. The Russian training grounds are personally inspected by the head of the Ministry of Defense of the Aggressive Country, Sergei Shoigu. But even for a demonstration training for all the recruits, there are not enough weapons. The level of training of those who were not lucky enough to get to the training is pushed in an original way. In the military ticket of the recruits, there are a lot of writings about the supposedly completed training. I had a military occupational speciality code 999. After they hadn't taken me from the first time, they crossed out this sin in the recruitment office, wrote that I was a rifleman, and here they wrote that I allegedly had gone through a military training in 2017. At least five recruited men under the so-called partial mobilization have already died in Ukraine. The first official statement about the death of those mobilized at the front line was made by the leadership of the Chelyabinsk region. The recruitment office has confirmed the information about the deaths of five South Ural residents who'd been caught up from the Korkino military commissariat, from the message of the press service of the governor of the Chelyabinsk region. The total irretrievable losses of Russia in the war against Ukraine, according to the unofficial data, have exceeded 90,000 people. This was reported by the publication Imported Stories, referring to the words of a current officer of the Federal Security Service of Russia and a former officer of the Russian Special Services. Despite the fact that the heads of 39 Russian regions have already reported on 100% completed mobilization plans, the call-up for participation in the war against Ukraine did not stop there. The first stage of mobilization is fully completed. The region has entered at the second stage. Alexei Smirnov, vice governor of the Kursk region, at the operational meeting. The Rostov region has received a new mobilization task, and the municipal conscription commissions have already begun to implement it. Vasily Golubev, governor of the Rostov region, on Telegram. The Republic of stretch your legs. Also reported on the when you get when you when you need to stretch your legs, the it just makes the cracking However, noise. The Everybody has it. And the Buryatia officials are trying to prove to the population that this is not a new recruitment wave, but the so-called additional recruitment. The operation is going according to the plan. We are not talking about any the first wave, the second wave, and subsequent waves. All military commissariats have been assigned a specific task for recruiting military units of the region, as well as other units that are located outside the territory of the Republic of Buratia. Despite the fact that some regions are activating the call-up, the Kremlin refused the new wave of mobilization. There is no new wave of mobilization, and it is necessary to clarify with each particular governor what they mean by that. Dmitry Peskov, press secretary of the president of Russia. The Russian State Duma has declared that mobilization is not a temporary action, but a continuous process. And today, the citizens of the aggressive country are at risk of receiving a summons in the most unexpected place. Initially, they were mobilized at home and at work, later in the passport offices and right on the streets. Now the military commissars have reached the catering establishments. Some Russians are fleeing the country. Others are hiding out in hope of not falling under the arm of the military commissar. Others are buying ammunition and go into the front line. Thus, the so-called mobilization to the grave not only does not help Russia win on the battlefield, experts say, but also undermines the Russian society from within. Reported by Dana Kolasnik, Valeria Nekopalova, UATV News. Well, guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed that. Give it a like, give it a comment, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next video. Take it easy. Boys and girls, see you next one. Peace.